Welcome to today's episode of CARICOM One on One. I'm your host, Jacine Dunkley Malcolm. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Easter celebrations. As we all know, Easter is a public holiday across the CARICOM region. And so we're going to have a, a little different episode today in that we're going to have more than one guest because we're going to be talking about talking to a few representatives from the CARICOM Secretariat from across the different CARICOM member states. Of course, we can't interview every single one, but we're going to see if we can get a cross section from the Secretariat about how we celebrate Easter across the region, different ways in which people, you know, observe this national public holiday. Now, before we get into it, if you have not subscribed to the CARICOM YouTube channel, go ahead and do so now. And while you're at it, just hit that bell notification button. Now, today I have with me a special guest. She is from Grenada. And she is a member of the Conference Services Unit here at the CARICOM Secretariat. Her name is Kanisha Commodore. Welcome to the program, Kanisha. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we already spoke and what I want to hear from you is how do you guys celebrate Easter in Grenada? Well, the truth is we need no excuses to have a good time in Grenada, but Easter really is a time where families get together. There's a lot of beach outings, cookouts, a lot of time spent after the solemnity of Lent and Holy Week in just having a good time. A lot of kite flying, I think sometimes maybe too much kite flying, you hear complaints about the kites buzzing all the time, but it really is a time where families get together, beach outings, cookouts, just having a really good time and celebrating the season. Okay, what about on Good Friday, the actual solemn day, what do you guys normally do on that day? A lot of people go to church on that day, mm -hmm. and the usual, there's no eating of meat on that day, mm -hmm. so food usually on Good Friday is some sort of ground provisions and right. salt fish or mackerel but a lot of time is spent at church for the persons who do celebrate in church and just kind of quiet it really is it's something in the air it's a day of reflection you feel it definitely thank you so much for sharing with us thanks for having me so now we have our representative from Trinidad and Tobago his name is Alan Donawa Alan, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And as you know, we're going to be talking about Easter celebrations across the region. So tell me, how do you guys celebrate Easter in Trinidad and Tobago? Well, Easter in Trinidad and Tobago is celebrated a lot by many people uh, by going to church. Mm -hmm. um, myself, growing up in a very Catholic family, I remember going to church for the, going to be part of the Tridium, which is the whole Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Glorious Saturday. And as a child, I remember being very excited because it was very... Easter has a lot of symbolisms in it in, right. in terms of in the church mm -hmm. and you know you would go to church on different days and different things are happening right. and it will start with you know, Thursday washing of the feet and Friday the Good Friday the whole the altar is bare and Saturday with the whole Easter vigil and Mass of the Resurrection and then the, all of a sudden the, the, the church comes alive with all these theatrics and flowers and so on on the altar oh, wow. you know but of course notwithstanding all of that as part of the celebrations in Trinidad and Tobago we also have what is um, we have what is called the Good Friday Boboli Okay. A bubble is a stupid person in a Trinidad and Tobago Creole, mm -hmm. and we would actually stuff this figure like an effigy of right. a political figure that we are very, we, have, we, we you know, we're not very happy with, and we just <laughs> want to beat. And in fact, it's, it's actually reminiscent of Judas Iscariot. So it's actually it's oh, a Good Friday wow. bubble to re reminiscence of that whole episode with relating to the betrayal. I've actually never heard of that. Yes. It's always interesting. Yes. So it's, it's stuff, and actually at three o'clock in the afternoon, many villages mm -hmm. long time you'd start beating this bubble and everybody lining up to beat it. So that was a, that's very. <laughs> significant in many villages. Wow. Um, the food, hey, like everyone else, many of us in the Caribbean, we have the, the hot cross buns. My, there's no, my, I look forward to that. In the I have a friend here in Ghana who makes some really delicious yes. hot cross buns. Yes, yes. In Jamaica, we actually do bun and cheese. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I, I guess it, it's similar across, you indeed, know, the regions. Indeed. We just do different things in different ways. What about on Easter Monday? Well, actually, before Easter Monday, Good Friday, we actually, mm -hmm. um, we eat fish. So we had either okay. mackerel and, and provisions, like some of the other islands as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's very typical and mm -hmm. as a child growing up too we would also talk about not going to the beach on Easter Friday Good Friday oh. because you turn into a fish 
So that's we are terrified of children. I've never heard of that yep. one either. That's a very uh, it's a oh, myth. Oh wow, it's so interesting talking to different people from yes. across the region to hear because mm -hmm. some of the things I've actually never didn't even know about. Yeah. You know? And guess what? Okay, so apart from yes, kite flying too mm -hmm. significant for the season, not just the Easter weekend, but as children, as the season starts, mm -hmm. Easter you fly kites. Okay. Of course, it culminates on the Easter weekend and their kite right. flying competitions and so on. And in addition to all of that excitement, right. guess what? We have Easter Tuesday in Tobago. Really? Yes, Easter Tuesday wow. is crab and goat racing competitions. Oh wow! And that is very that is a very significant part, um, a major part of the Easter calendar in Trinidad and Tobago on the island of Tobago specifically. So persons race crabs, they race their goats, the jockeys with their goats, and so on. It's it's absolutely amazing. Right. Well, it's a solemn holiday. It also can be very exciting yes. after the solemn part of the proceedings yes. have concluded. Indeed. Thank you so much for joining us, Elan. And thank you, Jansen. Great being here. So now we're talking to Rihanna de Hasbledo, and she is from Suriname, the Dutch-speaking Caribbean. Um, and she's also from the culture unit here in the Human and Social Development section of the CARICOM Secretariat. Of course, we're talking about his Easter celebrations across the CARICOM region. Tell us, Rihanna, how do you guys celebrate Easter in Suriname? Well, uh, we can look at Easter itself mm -hmm. and we can look at the Easter holidays right. because it's also the holiday period right. for the schools. Exactly. Well, Easter itself uh, is, as you know, a religious event. Mm -hmm. So the Christians would go uh, to church. Um, it starts from uh, the Sunday before, where actually you have uh, the Catholic uh, oh. starting mm -hmm. with Lent, of course, working of course. towards yeah, Easter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for the Moravians, for instance, uh, it would start with uh, on a Sunday before okay. the Holy Week. Right. And then you have uh, like uh, Holy Communion for the Moravians mm -hmm. uh, on the Thursday, usually. Okay, this is Holy Thursday. That's Holy Thursday. Um, White Thursday, actually, we oh, call, that's what you call it. it. We call okay. it Witte Donderdag. Oh wow! Um, and then on Good Friday itself, mm -hmm. you have the uh, the services. Okay. In Do church. you have a special name for Good Friday? Goede Vrijdag oh, in wow. Dutch. I won't even try to say it. <laughs> and uh, of course, then uh, Saturday we mm -hmm. call like uh, Stille Zaterdag, then everything is okay. quiet, peaceful. Mm -hmm. And then on uh, Sunday and Monday we have Easter. Okay. So that's again also in church. Okay. For the ones who, you go know, to go to church. Right. Uh, of course, holiday, it's a nice mm -hmm. long weekend. Right. So um, families are tempted to <laughs> use this opportunity to go outside. It's hot around that time right. of the year. So they tend to look out for where there is nice cool water. So oh, so some people will go to the creeks. They for will example. go to the creeks. I see. And then on Wednesday, oh, and that you have is like an additional thing. A very special event that's annually. Wow. Which is a uh, walking march. Uh, four days. Oh wow! We call it the Wandelmarsch, Avond vier dagse, because it's four days. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it's so it starts on the Wednesday. On the Wednesday, so okay. Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, yeah, and, and Saturday. Saturday, and it mm -hmm. caters for young and old. Actually, it started as. Um, a sporting uh, with a sporting purpose in right. terms of Suriname is known for its nice cuisine, right. very uh, diverse. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you like to indulge in all the food, <laughs> you need some exercise I, too. I've had some of that Japanese <laughs> <Yes>. food. <laughs> So uh, that's where it started from actually, but over the years it has grown into a cultural manifestation. Still, you know, uh, keeping in mind that it's the healthy walk. Okay. So it's uh, four days you have for the younger ones, mm -hmm. you have a shorter uh, route actually. Okay. And it goes through town. Wow. All the street, everybody goes the, out to Paramaribo. watch it. Paramaribo. Okay. Watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody excited about it. And of course, uh, yeah, for competition, who are the best dressed, who are the largest. Sounds uh, almost like a carnival. 
<laughs> yeah, we don't want to call it carnival. It's right. a culture manifestation. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody goes out very nicely dressed uh, okay. in their traditional clothes or just some like their sport outfit. Okay. But it's a very happy and fun celebration, and that is kind of like. Um, closing off uh, the, the, the Easter holidays in Suriname. Okay, thank you so much for sharing with us. This is Johnson Alexander from Haiti and he is also from the Foreign and Community Relations Directorate here at the CARICOM Secretariat. And as you know, we're talking about how we celebrate Easter across the CARICOM region. So this should be interesting to find out, you know, how they do it in the French Caribbean. Johnson, how do you guys celebrate Easter in Haiti? Um, basically, just you know, it's, um, it's the, um, the same thing. It's a, Easter is a religious um, religious event, mm -hmm. but in Haiti there is a particular aspect on the culture. Mm -hmm. um, like around, I know in the English speaking Caribbean, it's more a religious aspect. But in Haiti, around this Easter period, there is what we call um, rara, mm -hmm. um, which is in French um, band à pied, or what I would call in English a um, marching bands, oh, wow. where you are from. Um, Ash Wednesdays, people, uh -huh. Ash Wednesday, people uh -huh. um, working, you know, celebrating Raya and, and, and all kinds of stuff. So in addition to being a religious um, event in Haiti, there is a cultural aspect around the, the, the so Easter. what does that celebration involve? Is it like a festival on the street or what exactly is it? It, it is basically a, a, not a formal, formal cultural event, but it's, mm -hmm. it's an it's a, it's a informal um, thing, right. um, Raya. Um, on on the streets with um, marching band, um, oh, basically wow. in Leogan, it, it, it's a city located on the south um, west of of, of, oh. Port of Haiti. Oh, very nice. So, do you guys also do the similar things? People give up things for Lent, and they have Good Friday services, for example. And um, they, some of us fly kites on Easter Monday. Do, do all of those things happen in Haiti as well? Precisely, Justin. Um, around this um, Easter Easter period, we have. Um, children flying kites. We have um, some typical food that we Haitians we, we cook, mm -hmm. especially there is a bed, um, bed roots, um cooked with um, um, rice and, and, and right, um, right sauce beans that okay. people cook around this period. Okay. And basically, as, as you be, may be aware, we don't eat meat, ah, we eat fish. Eat yeah, because okay. I mean, up to Sunday where people say that Christ um, resuscitated, so we don't eat meat. Basically, that is how we Monday. Exactly. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Johnson. Thank you, Johnson. Thank you for having me. So I have with me Ms. Jean Kennedy. She is the Deputy Program Manager for Conference Services here at CARICOM Secretariat. And she is from Guyana. And Jean, welcome to the program. Thank you. As you know, we're going to be talking about how Easter is celebrated across the region. But more specifically, I want to find out from you, how do you guys celebrate Easter in Guyana? Hi, Jasmine. Good afternoon. Yes, well, um, actually, Easter is one of the nicer holidays. It's mm -hmm. a long weekend stretch. Right. And Easter has meaning for different persons. Of course. For the um, youth, it means partying, having a lime, a drink, hanging mm -hmm. with friends. Mm -hmm. For um, the more religious, it right. has a well, a religious connotation, of course. but generally for families, it's a weekend where they get together right. and they spend time and they do the the uh, famous kite flying right. on our seawall, which is yes. known throughout the Caribbean. I know it's yes. crazy. There's so many people who go there. Exactly, and the flight, the kite flying starts would have started a week ago, mm -hmm. and it culminates around um, Easter Monday, mm -hmm. Saturday into Monday. But it's a time to go with families, picnic, have a basket of goodies, mm -hmm. go to the seawall. You know, lots of music. Also, people drive around. They take the opportunity of the long weekend to go outside of Georgetown, oh, like the West Coast, over so to Bartica. Oh, wow. And then there's a really big um, event in Bartica, the, the okay. Bartica Regatta, I think oh, it's wow. called. It's mm -hmm. normally around Easter. Okay. Boat rides, and there again, food and music, and just the, the mingling and of everyone. Yes, it, it's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Uh, when I just came to Guyana and I, I went to the seawall on Easter Monday, it was just such a, a, a nice energy. There are so many people and families yes, indeed, and indeed. the kites. 
that mm-hmm. that was just it's something that I had never seen before mm-hmm. and I found to be just you know amazing it yes. was it was a really good experience for me and of course the stretches it's not just the Georgetown area mm-hmm. if you drive along way up the east coast as far as Buxton right um, and even further down mm-hmm. there are people lined with their kites with the children right. and so all the event on Easter Monday right you go very early to get a good spot of course with your umbrellas and the drinks mm-hmm. you must have the drinks tents and, and the tents and mm-hmm. everything so you know that is really the family togetherness right. on, on, on that occasion and lots of persons also come into Guyana right. our Caribbean sisters and brothers mm-hmm. they come into Guyana because I think also it's Splash Men and there are other events right. with um, artists from around the Caribbean etc right. so it's always a fete and you a, know a fun yes time. fun time even yes. though Easter is a religious holiday yes, we yes. do it not everybody um, observes the religious aspect exactly. of it exactly. but it is still respected exactly okay. exactly because back in the day even on Good Friday Mm -hmm. was a very quiet day of course you know very quiet church you know you go to church and that still happens now yes but Mm -hmm. I was going to say that on Good Fridays it will be so quiet no music whatever Mm -hmm. restaurants are closed right but that was back in the day now it's like a regular day and people take the opportunity starting from the cross Monday which is a holy Thursday going right through to Monday okay so so you you guys eat cross buns at at Easter time as well yes with cheese and coffee it's the best thing oh wow yes do you have like like any other traditions when it comes to food at Easter well, time? At Easter time, you'll get the cook up rice, the metaji, the Korean roti. People take uh, the opportunity to cook all the local dishes. Okay, but I don't think the pepper pot or garlic pork, which is mostly for Christmas, right. you will have that, but definitely right. cook up rice. I, I think most people refrain from eating meat, no? Well, up to up to Good Friday, okay, but then but too, after. unless you're very religious, after right. you get the cooker prize, you can get this what you call straits, okay. which is a cooker prize without that? the meat. Ah, yes, I didn't know that. Yes, you okay. call it straits. It's just the coconut milk, the rice, seasonings, and that kind like of thing. Some people use that as well, peas, beans, right. etc. Last but not least, Jasin, there's a rodeo in um, in the Rupununi in Lethem. In Lethem, mm-hmm. and I think people take the opportunity in in, in groups. I'm to going drive. this year. Oh, I wonderful. am excited about it. Yes, <laughs> to drive is a very long stretch, but you drive so and you go there, and it's like if you are in the movies, I gather. It's in I the haven't well, been, well, West I, I here. haven't been, but I got this a wonderful uh, event. Yeah. And um, sometime in the future, I will also go. Yeah, man. And yes. like Ghana is is bordering Brazil, so I think exactly. some people take the opportunity to go to Brazil exactly. as well. Yes. At yes. that time yes. during the rodeo, and you get very fluent Portuguese and all that in that area as well. Oh yes. wow! Yeah, man. Rodeo sounds like it yes. will be an interesting yes, thing I think to so. do in Ghana. Thanks again, Jean, for welcome. being a part of the program. Thank you for having me. This is Sean Bosch. Sean is a new member of staff here at the CARICOM Secretariat. He works in our Trade and Economic Integration Directorate. Sean is from Jamaica. Sean, as you know, we're talking about how we celebrate Easter across the region. So I want to find out from you, how do Jamaicans celebrate Easter? Well, first, let me say Happy Easter to everybody. And just to tell you that Easter in Jamaica is one of the most exciting times there is. Firstly, we mostly consume fish during Easter time. Mm -hmm. So if you go for for family dinner, Mm -hmm. then fish is the most important meal that it's served. It's served escovige, fried or steamed with some okra and some bami. That's that's precisely (laughs) what what I want. But added to that, there's a custom that we have where it's bun and cheese. Yes. Where we have spice bun, which is bun made with a little sugar, little raisin, but it's it's extra sweet, extra special, extra oh nice. Lord, I'm missing bun and cheese yes. now that you're reminding me about oh it. Oh yes, and we have that with a, a little tasty cheese. Okay. I hope I'm not prejudiced any com- company, but that's the dominant <laughs> cheese. And you'll have a slice of bun and cheese on mm-hmm. the day and... You might have a little glass of red wine here and there. And a lot of family, they come together, you have family dinner, because you would imagine that... It's a holiday. It's a holiday, Mm -hmm. it's a closing out of Lent. A lot of people go on Good Friday to church, and Mm -hmm. people observe the Christian rituals. Mm -hmm. And on Easter Sunday, people go to church, and you know the whole crucifixion story and the resurrection. So people are a little religious, but at the same time, Mm -hmm. that's where the... 
the carnival process starts of for course, Jamaica. So people you start. Know, as Caribbean people, we, we oh, have to find an excuse oh, to yes, them, right? Oh, yes, yes. It's a, it's a matter of celebration and of enjoyment. Course, of course. So those are the major activities that, that take place. And, you know, people enjoy, family come together, kids, and, you know, people you haven't seen for a time. You have a lime, you know, you have a little party here and there. You have a, a mm -hmm. cookout, a get together. Right, right. Well, it's really nice. It's a fun time. It's a week of activities. And, you know, it's a long holiday. So a lot of people are happy because they're off from work for weekend to week start you know so that's what it is all right thank you so much for sharing with us you're welcome so much for joining us for today's program if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel go ahead and subscribe hit the bell notification button if you want to know when we upload also please follow us on twitter like us on facebook check out our blog at today.caricom.org we love having you here see you next time